Let's make a fall leaf door arch for our front doorway. So the first thing that we're going to do is measure the doorway. We measured ours from the ground up for the height and then across the top for the width. Once you have your measurements, we're going to run to Home Depot and grab the list of supplies that you see here. Most importantly, don't forget the fall garland of your choosing. Once you have all the supplies that you need, we're going to go back to the house and we're going to hold our PVC pipe up against the doorway to double make sure of our measurements. You're going to gather all your supplies together. This is where we put it together and triple checked our measurements before we cemented any of the corner pieces together. And this is what it should start to look like around your door frame. So this is when we're gonna take the PVC cement and we are only going to put it on one side of the corner connector because we want to be able to disconnect it when fall is over and be able to put it away for easy storage. We do not need to prime our PVC pipe because water is not actually going to be going through this. So we wanted to make feet on it pretty much so that it stopped it from falling forward. So we're gonna put a T connector on the bottom so that it holds its weight and it doesn't fall forward. We used the extra PVC pipe that we had from cutting the length and this is what we had left over. So we used it to make the feet of this. Now, if your home has like columns in front of it or something like this, you can totally skip this step altogether because it is not needed, but this is what it should look like at the end. So now we're gonna start measuring out our chicken wire. Depending on how wide you want yours is where you should measure yours at, but I will say that this chicken wire is sharp whenever you cut it. So we are going to add two little square lines to add to be able to fold over on each side because we don't want anybody scraping themselves or getting nicked. So you will need clippers to cut the chicken wire along with small and big zip ties and we're cutting our first piece here and then we are going to double make sure on the width of it. So now that I have the first piece cut, I know that it's going to be the same width around the whole door. Now I will need to make a little piece here and maybe one next to our ring doorbell, but for the most part, this piece is going to be the same length up at the top and it fits perfectly. But just to double and triple check, which I highly suggest that you do, I'm going to take this and basically make five, I think is what I needed across the whole door. And I'm going to account for these pieces that I am bending behind, which I'll make the other one smaller because I don't wanna accidentally run out of chicken wire. But since this one ends here, I'm going to take it and put it up at the top to see if this one fits right in the middle and surprisingly enough, it did. So all I know now is that I need one up at the top, two on the sides, and two on the other sides. So I'm gonna take this and I'm going to need five exactly like the same size. So I laid out my whole roll of chicken wire and I put this piece exactly on top to get the same measurement. And then I'm gonna count for probably two on each side to fold over. So I'm gonna cut here. Then I have it to fold over on each side. Now this stuff is sharp. You may need gloves or you can use um, a wrench or needle nose pliers to take it and bend it backwards just enough to where you can then use your fingers to push it down and stay along that same line all the way down so that it folds over. Let's save you a little bit of time here and we'll do a quick transition. Boom, there we go. Now we have five of the exact same size. So now what we're going to do is take the big zip ties. We're gonna do one at the bottom, one in the middle, and one at the top to secure it to the PVC pipe. Now, when you put on these big zip ties, you wanna make sure that they are right next to the PVC pipe and that you're not putting them, you know, three or four squares out because if you do that, it will move it either one way or the other so you want to make sure that you're putting it right there next to the pvc pipe so it stays right in place and this is what it should look like now that we have our first piece on and set in place 
So now that I have them all kind of put on the PVC pipe where I want them and need them, this is what it looks like when they are all on and it's said and done. Now I do have a little sliver right there in the middle, but the leaves are so poofy that it will hide it once I get the garland put on there. And as far as this space right here, I'll take a little square and put it there. Now this is when you're going to take all of your garland and we're going to start attaching it to the chicken wire, not the PVC pipe. We're going to attach it to the chicken wire. Right now I have two strands on one side and three on the other strands and this is what it looks like just kind of hanging there. But what we're going to do is take the small zip ties and we're going to start zip tying them into place. Now I will say this is kind of tedious work because you're going to have to move leaves to kind of be able to get in there to zip tie it to the chicken wire. And on top of that, you're going to have to be moving leaves and rotating them the right way. And we're just going to kind of go section by section and zip tie them all into place so that it really sticks right where I need it on that chicken wire. So this is what I mean by taking the little zip ties and what I'm doing with the tails of them is I'm just tucking them behind it so that they don't stick out or that you can't see them. But you will be doing this for every about three or four chain links of the garland and once we kind of have them in place that's when we will take the leaves and kind of hide the chain of it depending on how many strands you put on yours depends on how full looking it will be but here you can see the difference how at the top it is all zip tied down and in place and at the bottom it's just frayed out because that hasn't been zip tied in yet after you get it all on, this is what it will look like from behind, just all the zip ties just poking through. But look at how amazing this looks. I definitely used more garland than I thought I would just because I wanted a really full looking one. And I think I ended up using about 10 garlands. Oh, but it looks so good. I'm so happy how this turned out. And it took me almost a week or more to finish this but I made it so that you could take it apart. So you could actually take the chicken wire off of the PVC pipe, get more chicken wire and make the same exact thing for Halloween with pumpkins or Christmas with Christmas ornaments. So that is my plan is to be able to take it off, put it in storage and have two or three different ones for different holidays. Um, or you can just take it apart with the PVC pipe and put it away for storage for next year but if you want to take the chicken wire off you would only cut the big zip ties so the ones at the top and the middle and the bottom you would cut those off take the whole piece of chicken wire garland and all and put it away for storage so that we can get new chicken wire and do this all over again with pumpkins or Christmas ornaments Easter even and do it with eggs I mean the possibilities are endless you have to make sure though that you don't go from the side to the top with the garland or else you will not be able to take it apart. So make sure that your garland goes down and then it starts here at the other piece of chicken wire and goes across and you're not mixing your garland from one piece of chicken wire to the other or else it'll be a lot harder to take it apart. If yours isn't completely full but you don't want to buy more garland, you can always buy some little fillers like these dried pumpkins here I found at Home Depot and you can just kind of stick them in wherever you think it needs a little bit more something. Or you can even uh, take them and make little bundles with them and just zip tie them in where you're needing them and personalize it to your liking. I had been seeing these all across social media, TikTok, Instagram, all over the place, and I couldn't find an in-depth tutorial, so I made one, and I hope it helps you if you decide to make one. If this tutorial helped you, please tag me at A Busy Life with Rio across all social media platforms so I can see, and happy fall, y'all.